guys, so today I have a really special guest, my beautiful cousin Caitlin, and she has a three-year-old daughter, Isabella, and she is obsessed with being a princess. So Caitlin makes these beautiful no-so tutus for her. With Halloween right around the corner, I thought it was the perfect time to have Caitlin on to show you guys how easy it is to make these adorable tutus. I'm Brooke, and I'm passionate about creating beautiful things for my family on a budget. All right, so Caitlin, what are we gonna need to get started? Okay, so it's pretty easy. Basically, you just need rolls of six inch tulle in whatever colors you're going to be working with, three quarter inch elastic, tape measure, scissors, and a piece of cardboard, a needle and thread, or a hot glue gun if you want this to be a truly no-so option. First, we're gonna do the elastic waistband. There's a size chart in the description below, or you can just measure your child's waist and subtract four inches. Now we're gonna fasten the elastic. We're using a hot glue gun, but you can use a needle and thread if you'd prefer. Not in this house. <laughs> no sewing allowed. Okay, now we're gonna cut the tool. Brooke, you have a little boy, so maybe you've managed to escape the frozen craziness that's going around, but my daughter is completely obsessed with Elsa. Aww. So we've decided to go with some frozen Elsa-inspired colors for this tutu. When you're cutting the tool, you wanna make sure that it's twice as long as you want the tutu to be, because you're gonna be folding the strips in half. We're doing a long Elsa-inspired tutu, so we're gonna be using 44-inch strips. Brooke is going to be showing us a quick tip for how to quickly cut the tool, um, which is a lot more efficient than the way that I did it, which was cutting each strip one at a time. I like things that are quick and efficient. Yes. So I've cut a piece of cardboard to the length we want our dress. This one's 22 inches, and you're just gonna take your tool and you're gonna wrap it around the cardboard, and you're gonna continue doing that until the spool is empty. And then you're gonna just cut along the edge that you started from. Yay. And ta-da, we have our strips of tulle. You're gonna need about 60 of these for a 15 inch tutu. Is and now it? all we have to do is put them on the waistband. So we're just gonna attach this to the cardboard. Like, okay. Like that? Yep, and then you're okay. gonna use between one and three strands of tulle. We're gonna use two for this one, but depending on the fullness you want, that's what you can decide. Um, then you're gonna fold your tulle in half. That way, hot dog okay. style. You're gonna take the loop, put it underneath the elastic. You're gonna pull the straight pieces through the loop Pull it down like you're doing a necktie. Just pull it tight right there, and you've got your first knot. All we're gonna do is go around the entire band now, and that's it. Yay, okay, let's get started. And we're done. All right, that's it, you're done. A lot easier than having to wait in line at the Disney store for an Elsa dress. And probably a lot cheaper too. This turned out so cute and now I need to see it on a model. Yes. <laughs> Yay! You can also follow the same process and make a shorter traditional pink ballet tutu or other Halloween costumes like this peacock. All right, thank you so much for coming on and showing us how to make these adorable tutus. My ovaries are crying. <laughs> oh, well, I'll know what to make for you for your next baby shower if you have a baby girl when the time comes. <laughs> the time comes. <laughs> on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye. Bye. Mike oh my is seriously gonna kill me. Oh. Cute. You look so cute. You look so handsome. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're already just nuts.